Okay, we pick up the fight between Derek, the Black Lion, Edwards, and Anthony. Tony, the Tiger, Hanshaw about midway into the first round as we see Hanshaw deliver a strong left to the body of Edwards. I am Paco Rivera with GAR 1680 Boxing Talk Radio and Blog covering the local boxing scene for Charlotte and all North Carolina. I apologize for the technical difficulties resulting in a slight delay of the bout. Both fighters did go right at each other from the opening bell to kick off the action. There's another good exchange from the fighters coming out of the clinch. Derek Edwards is the fighter to your left wearing black trunks with aqua blue. Hanshaw wears a sort of reddish camouflage or tiger skin design trunks. We are here at the Benton Convention Center venue in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for the main event of the evening promoted by the Ring of Dreams Boxing Promotional Company. It is for a WBC Intercontinental title belt matching Anthony Hanshaw and Derek Edwards. Oh, Edwards connects with a solid left to the head of Hanshaw. Hanshaw entered the ring with a record of 23 wins, two losses, and one draw with 14 of his wins by way of knockout. Edwards is 26 and 2, and he has scored 13 KOs in his career. We come to the end of round one, and a cheering crowd appearing pleased with the action taking place here. Boxing here at the Benton Convention Center was preceded by MMA with that taking place in the large black circular cage seen to the right of the boxing ring. There were five MMA bouts for about the first two hours. Round two begins with both Edwards and Hanshaw meeting near the center of the ring. Edwards and Hanshaw trade blows to the body. Neither uh, fighter is well known for having very heavy hands with both Edwards and Hanshaw averaging just about 50% of their victories by knockout or technical knockout. And most of those victories coming a little earlier in their career against lesser quality opponents. Both fighters reside right here in North Carolina. Edwards connects with a right to Hanshaw's head and the fighters get wrapped up. The referee for this fight is Mark Campbell. He seems to be a little reluctant at times to break up the fighters. Derek is more uh, the hometown boxer, making his home right here in Winston-Salem. Hanshaw is originally from Ohio, who moved out here, uh, where he trains at the Fitness One Gym in Kernersville, under the tutelage of his trainer, Alan Branch. And alongside another up-and-coming prospect from North Carolina, undefeated heavyweight Joshua Too Tough Tufty. Some excitement from the fans here as Edwards and Hanshaw trade shots. Uh, Josh Tufty was also scheduled to fight this evening, but that was canceled when his scheduled opponent, David Salisbury of Kentucky, failed to get his medical in on time. I had a chance earlier to speak with Heidi Tufty, the boxer's wife, who can be seen directly across from the camera with her back to us, wearing a coat with the uh, fur collar seated at one of the VIP tables. She had informed me of the cancellation situation with Josh. Oh, a straight left from Edwards connects, snapping Hanshaw's head back. Uh, Josh Tufty had done some sparring recently with highly uh, world-ranked heavyweight Seth Mitchell out in Virginia in preparation for Tufty's scheduled bouts in the month of February. Seth Mitchell was also supposed to fight uh, this evening out in Atlantic City on the undercard of the Adrian Broner Gavin Reese main event there. Mitchell's fight was also canceled. Uh, it was a rematch with Jonathan Banks. Banks broke his thumb resulting in the cancellation. The crowd getting worked up here with uh, less than 10 seconds remaining in the round.
Round three began much in the same way as the previous two rounds with both fighters carefully uh, measuring each other in the center of the ring. This is Anthony Henshaw's first fight this year as we see him connecting with a left jab followed by a left uppercut that misses uh, or may have grazed the chin of his opponent, Derek Edwards. Hanshaw is 34 years old. He began his career in the year 2000 with a debut at the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, where in recent times some of the biggest uh, pay-per-view events in the world take place. Rarely is a fighter's debut featured there now. Hanshaw had uh, two fights in 2012. Both wins, but coming after an almost four-year layoff. Before 2012, he hadn't fought since 2008. Derek Edwards connects with the left of his own, sending Hanshaw's back into the ropes. Uh, Hanshaw reeled off 21 straight wins from, from the start of his professional boxing career before the draw on his record. A split decision, 12-round uh, draw happening in 2007 for the vacant IBO super middleweight title. Hanshaw then lost his next two fights and it appeared he had called it quits since he went four years before getting back in the ring again. Uh, the first of those two losses was a light heavyweight fight against four division world champion and 1990s fighter of the decade, Roy Jones Jr. Both fighters engaging in some inside fighting here against the ropes. It may be said, however, that Roy Jones was on the downslide path of his career when he met uh, with Anthony Hanshaw. A bout that resulted in a unanimous decision win for the man with the much bigger name at the time. Hanshaw's uh, bout with Roy Jones may have appeared too close to call after about the 10th round, but then Hanshaw was knocked down by Jones in the 11th. Anthony Hanshaw did get back up and showed a lot of heart to finish the round, and then coming back strong and swinging in the, in the 12th and final round, but just short of a win. Hanshaw wasn't only fighting Jones that night, but also a packed crowd chanting Roy, Roy, Roy throughout the fight. Hanshaw's next fight and only other loss was to Andre Durrell, who is currently 21-1 with his only defeat, a split decision loss uh, to world champ Carl Frock. Hanshaw was TKO'd by Durrell in the fifth round of their bout. Round three ends. And we begin round four. Derek Edwards is just one year younger than Anthony Hanshaw. He's 33 years old. Began his professional boxing career in 2002 at age 24. He is a uh, super middleweight who weighed in at 170 and three quarter pounds for his previous fight. A six round unanimous decision win over John Michael Terry who had a journeyman's record of four wins, 24 losses and three three draws. Oh, Hanshaw connects with a good uppercut here in the fourth round. That fight with uh, John Michael Terry took place right here in the Benton Convention Center in Winston-Salem on December 8th of 2012. It was Derek Edwards' only fight of last year. Hanshaw more aggressive now drawing some cheers and applause from his fans in the crowd. Derek Edwards also fought just once in 2011, a loss to Adana Stevenson, who is now ranked number one in the world by the IBF and possibly in line to meet world champ Carl Frock. Stevenson defeated Edwards with a third round KO. Edwards was down twice in the second round and once in the third of that bout. Edwards misses with a straight right. Oh, Hanshaw stepped back and lost his balance and fell while backpedaling. The referee, Mark Campbell, is having some words with Hanshaw. That shouldn't be ruled a knockdown by any means. There was no contact from Edwards before Hanshaw went down. 
It seemed there when Hanshaw raised his right hand, he said something to someone sitting at one of the VI tables right before that happened. Derek Edwards' only other loss was to Marcus Johnson in 2010 for the vacant WBO NABO super middleweight title belt. Edwards had entered the ring undefeated with a record of 25 and 0 for that bout. Hanshaw comes right back firing away at Edwards. Edwards fighting off the ropes. Oh, and he connects with a left hook as they come off the ropes. Hanshaw smiles back at uh, Derek Edwards. Get ready for round five here at the Benton Convention Center in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. It appears Anthony Hanshaw's corner is working on a cut above Hanshaw's left eye. That would be cut man Rick Marsh. Inside the ring is Hanshaw's trainer and cornerman Alan Branch. And over to his right, the manager for Hanshaw and Joshua Tufty, Chris Cosper. Round five begins. These fighters don't appear to be showing any sign of tiring just yet. Hanshaw connects once again with that left uppercut. This time it seemed to buckle Edwards' knees for a moment. Anthony Hanshaw has gone 12 rounds twice in his career and 10 rounds four times. Derek Edwards has never been past 10 rounds. He has gone the 10 round distance twice before. Boxing fans here at the Benton Convention Center appeared somewhat displeased when it was announced between rounds of the previous fight that the main event was coming up next. Eight bouts were scheduled this evening, but only three are being featured. And that includes this one between Derek Edwards and Anthony Hanshaw. There may have been about 550 or so fans here in attendance when MMA began about 7 p.m. There were five MMA bouts lasting about two hours when boxing got underway. Uh, I would say about 100 or so spectators left the room shortly after MMA ended. Most of those here apparently strictly MMA fans or were here to see their MMA guy fight. Oh, good combination from Derek Edwards landing a right and then a left after coming off the ropes. Oh, and Hanshaw retaliates with a big left that lands flush on the side of Edwards' head. And here comes Edwards right back at Hanshaw. These guys are really mixing it up now, bringing more cheers from the crowd. A stiff right hook from Edwards lands. An exciting fight here at the Benton Convention Center in Winston-Salem. And there's a bit of taunting from uh, Hanshaw while leaning over toward Edwards as the bell for round five rings. Here's round six. You know, coming out to see live fights is a thrilling experience. So many people think you need to have a big name in the ring like Floyd Mayweather or Manny Pacquiao, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. 
to make the event worthwhile, but nothing can be further from the truth. I spoke to a gentleman uh, seated next to me earlier who admits not knowing any of the fighters here tonight, but how much he enjoys simply watching a good fight live, not on TV, but live, no matter who it is. Oh, Hanshaw fires a combination at Edwards' body. And speaking of live fights, the 2013 North Carolina Golden Gloves Championships will be happening just three weeks from now. If you're in the area, this is something you shouldn't miss. Come out and support our youngsters and the kids competing in this great event. Coach Al Simpson with the Charlotte Boxing Academy in Charlotte is doing a spectacular job getting that whole event all together. Competition will take place on Friday, March 8th and Saturday, March 9th at the Sugar Creek Recreation Center in Charlotte. All the details you need to learn more about this event can be found on our blog, gar 1680 dot blogspot dot com and trust me it's great fun for everyone for the family I will definitely be there and I invite all of you to come out as well early I was mentioning uh, another up and comer from uh, our region here in North Carolina uh, heavyweight Joshua Tufty he currently has a record of 11 and 0 with six of those wins by knockout. He fought two weeks ago in the town of Greensboro, not too far from here in Winston-Salem, against a very tough opponent from Brooklyn, uh, from Brooklyn, New York, named John Bolden. Tufty, who was also scheduled to fight here tonight, but that was canceled, defeated Bolden with a six-round unanimous decision win uh, in Greensboro. Tonight would have been Tufty's second fight in the month of February. Fighters beginning to pick up the pace a little as the uh, round comes to an end. Hancho is one of those fighters that doesn't sit between rounds, something that heavyweight great George Foreman was well known for. We do see Derek Edwards taking full advantage of his seat. I have heard boxers criticize the not sitting strategy in the past. I've heard someone say that if he could lie down between rounds, that's what he would do. If you enjoy boxing in North Carolina and want to keep up with what's going on in this great state, follow the GAR 1680 Charlotte and North Carolina Boxing Talk blog at gar1680.blogspot.com. Everything you need to know about our local boxers, local events, and everything boxing for our region can be found on our site. That's gar1680.blogspot.com, and be sure to join as a member of the blog to receive alerts. Both fighters are from North Carolina here tonight. A state that lately seems to be filling with boxing talent from the likes of the two fighters here and uh, uh, as well as Joshua Tufty, who I mentioned earlier. Another uh, North Carolina fighter present here tonight and who I met earlier and uh, very much enjoyed talking to is Noel Shut Up Echevarria. That's his nickname, Shut Up. An undefeated lightweight with a record of 8 and 0. Oh. Noel is, uh, he not only seems to have the talent to be champion one day, he also has that charisma and personality to go with it. Other great talent from this region is Jared the Quiet Storm Robinson, who fights out of the city of Charlotte, training at Dime Boxing and Fitness, along with other professional prize fighters, Spidey Williams and Hassan Lee. Jared uh, Robinson is an undefeated light welterweight with a record of 13 and 0. He is currently ranked about 40 in the nation, but that number should be rising toward the top uh, with every win. Also in Charlotte, we have uh, 
Quentin Rankin, who has exceptional talent, regardless of the two losses on his record. Midway through the seventh round uh, here, there hasn't been very much activity thus far. Both fighters appearing cautious and patiently waiting for an opportunity to do something. Okay, now Edwards and Hanshaw appear to be picking up the pace a little. And there may be a wet spot on the canvas as one of Derek Edwards' feet just slipped. There you see a list of some of our state's best fighters, up and coming fighters who may very well be making their way onto onto boxing's world stage in the very near future. Jared Robinson, who is 13 and 0. Joshua Tufty, 11 and 0. Noel Echevarria, 8 and 0. John Spidey Williams, who's 10 and 2 with one draw. And Quentin Rankin, who's 5 and 2. And I'm sure we'll be seeing a, a lot more of the veterans we have in the ring right now. Anthony, Tony, the Tiger Hanshaw, and Derek Edwards. Round seven comes to an end. Hanshaw's corner continues working on that cut. It appears they have it under control, though. Also, be sure to tune in to our North Carolina Boxing Talk radio show every Monday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we discuss everything going on regionally here in our great state of North Carolina. We also take calls on the air if you want to call in and share your thoughts. You can find a link to our radio show by visiting the blog at gar1680.blogspot.com. Round eight has begun. You see both fighters here launching jabs, but not connecting heavily with them. Hancho landed three consecutive blows to Edwards' head. Edwards fires back a right hand and a two trade. The exchange brings fans to their feet here in the Benton Convention Center. hand from Hanshaw. You know, shortly before this main event started, a retired professional fighter known as Earl Chocolate Drop Latson entered the ring uh, with the announcer's microphone in hand. He spoke to everyone here about making a comeback. Latson last fought in 2008. He had a record of 14 wins, 19 losses, and a draw during a career that began in 1999. He's now 39 years old. Uh, Earl Chocolate Drop Ladson. Well, Chocolate Drop Ladson decided he wanted to call out Joshua Tufty for a bout on a Ring of Dreams card to take place here at the Benton Convention Center on April 27. Josh Tufty was uh, at the time locker room area and their team I knew nothing of his uh, being called into the ring to answer to Ladson. He later did get in the ring as Ladson was still talking, and with a smile on his face, Tufty said uh, something to the effect of, well, okay, let's make it happen. But personally, uh, I think Tufty isn't interested.
Very good round, possibly for both fighters here. There's a round of applause from around the room acknowledging their satisfaction with the performance of these two fighters, Anthony Hanshaw and Derek Edwards. Round nine begins. Six minutes of fighting to go in this battle. If it goes that long. Both fighters trading jabs here. Derek Edwards throws an overhand right that misses. We are here at the Benton Convention Center in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for Boxing Promotion Company, Ring of Dreams, Fight Night 9. Both Anthony, Tony, the Tiger Hanshaw, and Derek, the Black Lion Edwards, putting on a very entertaining performance for North Carolina boxing fans here. I am Paco Rivera. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at GAR1680 to get updates on what's going on regionally. I also offer comments on world class and international boxing on Twitter. On Twitter, you can find me at GAR1680. And if you tweet yourself about local boxing, be sure to use the hash mark Charlotte Boxing. Oh, Derek Edwards lands a right to the head of Hanshaw. These fighters are still mixing it up here. With, uh, seconds to go in the ninth round. And there's the bell. We're about to begin the tenth and final round of this bout. And it's been a good one. And the fighters touch gloves at the, at the center of the ring. And here we go. The final round is underway. The fighters hop on their toes to show they are ready. They go right at each other. Edwards launches a straight right to the head of Hanshaw that misses. And Hanshaw jabbing but not connecting. It's been a good close fight here in the Benton Convention Center in Winston-Salem. No fighter has been knocked down, but both have had their moments. Edwards connects with a left hook. Okay, we're back. Once again, I apologize for the technical mishap with our video system. 
a portion of the 10th round wasn't recorded. The action has been much th the same, however. Still no knockdowns in the fight. Good exchange here from Hanshaw and Edwards. They continue fighting in the clinch. The bell rings and both fighters are still going at each other. Referee Mark Campbell has to step in to break them up. About 400 fans here are on their feet all around this room. And I am sorry once again that we were not able to transmit the announcing of the scorecards. But as you can see, one judge gave it to Anthony Hanshaw. The second judge gave it to Derek Edwards. And the third judge scored it a tie. This bout is a draw. Thank you for listening. My name is Paco Rivera. I am with GAR1680. Don't forget to follow us on our blog, GAR1680.blogspot.com, for everything boxing in North Carolina. See you next time.